Hello again. It's me. Okay, so we've done 401ks in the past, and I do have videos on the basics of setting up this table for 401k. But I got a little bit fancier this year because um, videos in the past have been very simplified. So normally with 401k, the way it works is you contribute a percent of your income. So we've talked about that before, but let's talk about it again. So let's say you, you have a company that matches to 4%. So what that means is if you put in 2%, they put in 2%. If you put in 3%, they put in 3%. If you put in 4%, they put in 4%. If you put in over 4%, they cap out at 4%. So they stay at 4%. So in the past in spreadsheets, I've had to just change this manually. So like if I put in 5% here, I would have to still leave this here at 4%. So I wanted to kind of change that because we've, we've gone a little further in Excel this year with conditional, um, conditional statements and that kind of thing. So I wanted to kind of update this, the contribution calculation. So this contribution is what I'm putting in every year. This is unrealistic because um, it's not going to stay the same for the whole 40 years that you're working. Like if you've been at the same company for 40 years, uh, number one, you shouldn't be making the same thing you started out with. Like that's, that's a bad thing. You should be getting some kind of cost of living raises. Like things would have to just be super bad for a really long time to never get a raise for 40 years, which means that if you were getting raises, your contribution would actually go up. But in the interest of keeping this simple, we're just going to say that's a constant type of a thing. What I do want to change is I want to change the actual contribution part. So I'm going to delete this for a second, delete this. So it's going to change my table. It's okay. Oh, look, I have a zero. Okay. That'll update when I change my numbers. So my contribution itself, this is only depending on me. It doesn't depend on what the company matches. This is just what I put in. So this is going to be equals. It's just going to be my contribution percent times my income. Da, da, da. Look, my table is not zero anymore. My company is going to depend on what I put in. So I kind of want an if statement, right? I want it to be where, okay, well, if I'm, if I'm contributing more than what their match is, I want it to stay at 4%. If I'm, if I'm contributing less than what the match is, I want it to automatically update so that the company spends what I spend, right? So I'm going to do that with a conditional statement. I'm going to go if, so equals if, open parentheses. So it, the first thing it wants is a logical test. Well, my logical test is I want to know, is this greater than this? So I click on this. Shift period gives me the, the greater than sign. And then I click on my company. Okay. Then a comma. Now it says value if it's true. So what do I want it to do? If my match is greater than that, I want it to stay at 4%. So I want to click on 4% times my income, comma. If, it's, if, if what I put in is less than what the company puts in, less than or equal to, I want it to stay with what I'm putting in. So I'm going to do me, so my contribution, times the income. Now, if I did this right, then right now it should give me what I had before, right? So I'm going to change my income to 100000 so that I can see the numbers a little better. So 100,000, this lets me calculate easier. Okay, so right now it looks like, okay, so my, th my, my contribution is greater than the company match. The company match stayed at 4,000. Yay. So now, but I want to test it since I had an if statement, I always want to test it, even though it looks right for, for this part, I want to make sure it still does the same thing that I'm expecting it to for the other part. You can't just like, Oh, well, this is great. I'm just going to leave it like that. If it's an if and there are two options, you got to make sure you test both, op both options just to make sure before you leave and go do something else. So, okay, let's pretend I put 2%. So if I put 2%, my company is going to match to 2%. They're not going to do 4%. And so they both went to 2000. So it did what I wanted it to do. So we're for this one, you're using an if statement. So if your match is greater than the company, it sticks with the company times income. Otherwise, it goes your contribution times the income. So that's our update.